when we think of billionaires, we think of huge mansions, luxurious cars, yachts and whatnot. But what if you were told that the richest man in the whole world lives in a home that is smaller than 400 square feet? Seems unrealistic, doesn't it? Well, the statement is indeed true. To learn who this billionaire is and why he chose such unique living conditions, continue watching. The man, the myth, the legend. Elon Musk is not just a name in the business world, but a brand. He is the richest man in the world, a centi billionaire, and considered to be a real life version of Tony Stark. From the world of electric cars and underground trains, to artificial intelligence and space travel, there is no area of modern day technology that this man hasn't conquered. One would imagine that a man of his stature would possess a life of great grandeur and luxury, from the most expensive of cars to the largest of mansions. There is nothing that Musk can't afford. Yet you would be surprised to know that as of 2021, this self-made entrepreneur and the multi-business owner resides in a small home constructed over an area of just 375 square feet. To know more about Musk's less conventional choice of real estate, please continue watching. Just around last year, Musk decided to sell off most of his property and possessions in an attempt to reduce his carbon footprint. He moved into a small $50,000 home in Boca Chica, Texas, which he surprisingly rents from his own company, SpaceX. These miniature homes have been constructed by a Las Vegas-based housing company called Boxable. Although the company has built only three units so far, they have over 47,000 customers on their waiting list. Of these, 2,000 have already paid in advance to secure their tiny home. Each of these units is foldable, transportable, and about 400 square feet. Although the dimensions appear tiny, the house comes equipped with a bathroom, bedroom, living room, and a functioning kitchen. Over the recent years, these tiny homes have gained immense popularity, mainly because they're drastically lower home ownership costs, increasing portability, and are convenient. They are indeed a compact and sustainable way of living, suitable for an individual who lives on their own. Let's take a look inside Musk's tiny little mansion. Reportedly, the unit Musk resides in resembles a studio apartment and is called Casita. The place is highly energy efficient. Instead of wood, brick, and hammer, boxable tiny homes are constructed out of steel and concrete. They are further strengthened with foam insulation and laminated paneling to ensure that these tiny spaces can withstand hurricanes, strong winds, snow, and even floods. Before boxing and shipping, plumbing facilities and HVAC systems are installed in each unit. Their shipping logistics are relatively simple and hassle-free. Each Casita home can be folded from 6 meters to just 2.5 meters during transportation. On reaching its owner, the house simply needs to be unpacked, unfolded, and attached to its foundation and utilities. Voila! The home is ready for move-in. Although minimalistic, Musk's residence is the living definition of good things that come in small packages. With a 2.8 meter high ceiling, his small space possesses every facility that one would find in a lovely big mansion. The bedroom and kitchen are located on opposite sides of the entryway, allowing this door to separate the two spaces. The bedroom continues into the living area, and these two spaces can be flipped if needs be. The media center in the bedroom is what separates the two regions and gives them their own identity. Right next to the kitchen is the bathroom, equipped with a bath, sink, countertop, a sliding door, and a backlit mirror. However, that's not all. The home also has its own on-site washer and dryer, as well as a temperature control system. It's no secret that Musk has long been the center of several controversies and criticism. His unconventional ideas, lifestyle, and out-of-the-norm tactics have often landed him in hot water. And while he does have a large fan base, he has an equivalent, if not a more significant number, of opposers. Recently, Musk once again made it to the headlines with his current living arrangements. By backing up his pledge to sell most of his possessions and live a more sustainable 
sustainable lifestyle, he has gained a large number of followers and admirers. To say that Musk has fans is an understatement. He has an army of devotees. Most of them are middle-aged males who considered this act a symbol of the billionaire's selflessness and modesty. In contrast, a large chunk of individuals viewed this as a move that only reflected Musk's privilege. Although the man may not have a home, he is the CEO of SpaceX, the space travel company that seemingly owns the entire village of Boca Chica, where his tiny housing space is located. Boca Chica also houses one of SpaceX's largest headquarters. The spark of rumours that SpaceX's team had been secretly ushering old village residents to empty their homes created a massive issue for this company. They received a lot of hate and negative feedback for pressuring citizens to leave their hometown, many of whom were retirees. Moreover, sources mentioned that public beaches were often shut down without any warning to allow SpaceX to run their tests. Several opposers pointed out that not everyone is privileged enough to wake up one day and decide to live a more low-key life, suggesting that Musk seemingly bought into this trend because of his current infatuation with it. Eventually, he is bound to get tired of it, while the rest of us might not have that option. His wealth makes it easier for him to make spontaneous decisions and sell his possessions so he can afford to get his hands on whatever he wants, whenever he wants it. People also seem to be reasonably confident that the Casita isn't Musk's permanent residence, rather more like an office space that he visits from time to time. This argument is supported by the fact that although this tiny home is very sophisticated for its size, it's not nearly large enough to entertain Musk's family of six children. Whatever his intentions may be, one should give credit where credit is due. Indeed, through this decision, Elon Musk has promoted the concept that one doesn't need to buy more than necessary, and that living a comfortable life doesn't have to come at the expense of your entire bank account. These boxable tiny homes aren't just economical, but also take up less space and are environmentally friendly. With housing issues on the rise during COVID, this is a more sustainable solution. The world of tiny homes has a lot of potential, and the company is also working on coming out with more luxurious housing units. They have mentioned that larger homes are under construction, and they're also working on systems to connect or stack different units on top of each other, thus allowing owners to create larger buildings and spaces. They are also working on establishing a more automated and standardized process that will efficiently produce a greater quantity of units units to fulfill the rising demand. You may not be the wealthiest person in the world or the CEO of several successful multinational projects, but buying one of these boxable units can bring you one step closer to living life like the billionaire Elon Musk.